hear us. Praise mm -hmm. you, Lord. Hear me. I am very afraid of what God's about to do to some folks that have put their mouth on me. He allowed me to see it yesterday. And I was weeping and mourning. And I began to pray for a lot of folks. Here's what I want to show you. Look at verse 4. And commanded... Asa commanded Judah to seek the Lord their God. Beloved of God, if you are going to embrace the spirit of newness, it is no longer asking folks. It is now commanding mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm. Did I read it wrong? No. no. And Asa commanded people to seek the Lord, which means you need to get your own personal relationship with God, son. Yes, Lord. That's how it is today. We got folks playing church. I remember seeing the movie where they asked this lady, uh, are you saved? And before she could answer it, her mother answered. Oh, why are you asking her? She saved and she ended up being part of the Antichrist. And at the end of the movie, she said, oh, anybody can say they saved. Right. Can you hear what Asa said? He spoke to Judah. Who is Judah? Judah represents the people of praise. He said, y'all ain't living right. Y'all need to get, y'all need to seek the Lord. Which means y'all need to get your own relationship. Your own personal relationship. If you want to tell co-workers, you want to tell your children, you want to tell your spouse, internet viewers, get your own relationship with Jesus Christ today. All right. You can't piggyback on sister's relationship. Mama's relationship. My God, we're moving into a place where you need to know how to cry out to God for yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Thank this you. is embracing the spirit of newness. Amen. We got folks saying, when they get in trouble, pray for me, pray for me. Yeah, okay. The Bible says, if any sick among you, let them call for the elders. Yes. We got folks only want to call for the elders. <laughs> Doing opposite of what God's word says. Beloved, that are not to be anymore. Amen. There's a real devil out there that will try to stop you from getting your prosperity. That will try to stop you from walking in your abundance. I'm telling you today that God has already granted us victory for 2010. You Listen, no more renting you're going to own a house. It's already granted. No more I hope I get a good pay. It's already there. But if your stinking thinking calls you to stop, God says, I already told you it's there. Hallelujah. Have you ever gone to a party where it was buffet style and they told you, there's all the food, get it. And you leave hungry and somebody said, well, why you didn't eat? They didn't want to fix it for me. It was already on the table. What you mean? They didn't want to fix it for me. <laughs> I hope somebody's hearing me. God said, I already set before you the buffet. Right. Fix it yourself. Amen. Get it for yourself. Amen. Get it for yourself. Right. I command you to seek the Lord, your God. Yeah, Lord. Yes, yes. He is no longer asking folks. He is commanding folks to seek a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. In other words, he says, as I said, if you want to be where I'm at, I need us to be on one accord. My God, yes. That's the only way. That's what Asa said. Asa talking to folks that belong in the house of God. He ain't talking to the Amorites, the parasites, the mosquito bites, the termites. He's talking to folks in his house. Yes. And he's saying, I command you to get a personal relationship. Yeah. He said, if you're going to walk with me, you need to understand and hear me, apostle. I'm called to do the work of God. Ain't too many people going to want to walk with me. But if you want to walk with me, I command you to get a personal relationship. You don't need to impress me. Apostle, I know all the books of the Bible. You, okay. You ain't doing it for me. You should know the calling of God right. on your life demands you to step up to the plate. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You know what God has on his team? He has a bunch of babe roots. He has a bunch of uh, berry bonds. He has a bunch of, uh, 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 I'm thinking of the wide receiver for the San Francisco, uh, Jerry Rice. Mm -hmm. yeah, 
Are you following what I'm saying? He has a lot of Wayne Gretzky's on his team. I wish you can hear what I'm saying. All right. On God's team, we all stars because He is the All Star. Glory, glory, glory. When He chose you, He chose a winner. Yeah, that's right, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And He says, "Do you understand?" Somebody was telling me this morning about Roy Jones Jr. Hallelujah. When you have a champion's mentality, you suck up everything. You deal with anything and keep on going. If you're going to walk with Asa, if you're going to walk with Apostle, I need you to come on one accord with me and say, yes, I must have my own personal relationship All with right. God. Yes, man. That's embracing the spirit of newness. Jesus. For 2010, God is commanding us to have a real relationship with Him. That's it. That's it. Well, you wake up in the morning saying, Father, is there anything you want to tell me? Before you go to sleep, you say, Father, are you done with me? Is there something you want to show me? Should I have prayed for a brother or sister? Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the last two days, I dealt with two people that was ready to commit suicide. My God. Apostle was with me. We prayed with one of them right in the parking lot, didn't we, brother? Amen. Apostle said he didn't know what was going on, but he felt the anointing go to him. Be. I told him yesterday what was going on. I didn't tell him at that time. I had another brother when the enemy was trying to make me feel bad about myself. Yeah, yeah, you didn't need to run. Uh, 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 I'm showing you, you need to leave. And I said, shut up, devil. <laughs> While I was fighting my own personal battles. Yeah. Hear me. The phone rang. And this man crying like a baby said, I'm about to end my life now. Yeah. I just called to say thank you. And for 45 minutes I prayed with him. Right. And then I said, God, let me never forget somebody's worse off than me. Yes. 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 Glory be to God. I believe the prophet that said, if you would pray for others, God will pray for you. Amen. I believe that if you multiply others, God will multiply you. Right. Yes, yes. yes. Beloved, hear me this morning. You no longer ask people. I commanded him. Yes. I said, brother, I ain't getting off this phone till you and I start singing. Till you start saying, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, if this message has been a blessing to you, go to the East store and get it in its entirety. I do want to thank you all for emailing me. And I thank you for sending that donation. You know who you are. God bless you. Thank you. We love you. And keep us in prayer for the newness of this year. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our e-store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish but have life everlasting. The truth is God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you lordship over my life. And I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now if you pray that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. 
I hope to hear from you soon. God bless.